What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we got another fun one for you. All the way from 1993, we bring you the Street Fighter II, Ryu. Let's bring this guy in. And guys, anybody uh, back in the late 80s to early 90s that was a huge video game fan, arcade fan, remembers the Street Fighter 2 video game. Uh, I thought it was one of the best video games out, uh, especially when the arcades were really big back then. The Street Fighter uh, arcade game was just phenomenal. You could pick all these awesome uh, uh, characters uh, to fight with. And they all had special powers and, you know, special kicks, special punches. And that was the craze, uh, back, especially back in the early 1990s. And Hasbro, uh, being the awesome marketer that they are, or were back then, actually saw a chance to capitalize on some of that fame and fortune that the, the company, Capcom, was getting from this mega, huge video game in Street Fighter. So they partnered up and did a, a four-figure, 12-inch figure deal with Hasbro and Capcom that would produce some really cool Hall of Fame G.I. Joe type action figures with just with really beautiful head sculpts uh, and the, to the characters. And we did, uh, this is the third in our series of uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, 12 inch uh, Hall of Fame figures. We did one on Blanca and we, we did one on. Uh, on Guile. And this is Ryu. Lifelike here. Super cool. And Hasbro wanted to keep these figures to video game likeness. They didn't want to go to movie. There was a movie in 1994, I believe, starring uh, Raul Julia and uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, in the Street Fighter movie, major motion picture, and it was a decent, it was a decent picture. And I thought that this, it was an awesome idea. Now, if you're a purist, a GI Joe purist, okay, maybe it's not such a cool idea. But looking back on it now, nearly, nearly thirty years later. It's an awesome idea because you have some really cool figures and these figures when they came out you couldn't keep these guys on the toy store shelves. They were selling like hotcakes because you had two fan massive massive fan bases that were interested in these figures. You had the Street Fighter uh, video game fan base and then you had the G.I. Joe fan base who at that time was still getting acclimated again to having 12 inch G.I. Joe figures. So you couldn't lose either way. Capcom and Hasbro did a beautiful job in their partnership at putting together these, uh, these awesome figures. Guys, if you're just joining us, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And you get awesome videos like this. This is what we do. We hang out in our museum. We do great reviews on old figures that you probably didn't even know existed. Some you do, some you don't. But this is what you get. At the end of the day, guys, we have a ton of fun. Guys, right, tell us what you think of Ryu. Like I said, he's got that lifelike hair. It's uh, beautifully done. See, he's in there pretty good. The good people at Cotswell Collectibles, 
Um, I would love to tell you that we've had our Ryu in our museum collection since 1993, but I would be lying to you. <laughs> the good people at Coswell Collectibles, um, we bought all of our Street Fighter Hall of Fame G.I. Joes from Coswell Collectibles and for really, really awesome prices. Um, this Ryu price point wise, uh, he was over 20 something dollars when he first came out. And I believe I might have paid 19, 19 or 20 dollars for him back in 2008, 2008, I believe. Because once again, we were trying to complete our Hall of Fame uh, line. And we talked about being a purist, a G.I. Joe purist. If you're a G.I. Joe purist collector, you're going to want and you're going to need the Street Fighter 2 uh, 12 inch figures. But it, they didn't have to sell me. That hard. I, I'm a huge Ryu fan. As you can see, he comes with a ton, a ton of equipment, two beautiful swords. He's got a, uh, we talked about the spring activated loaded weapon. Big, beautiful knife. He's got two grenades in there. You can't see it, but he's got his firing he's got the little rocket on there too that he could he can put inside of the gun right there and there this was not made for for collectors this was another toy uh figure that was designed for the younger demographic they wanted people to play with these guys and he was not meant to be kept in his box for nearly 30 years, but because he's um, museum quality, he's close. He's like a, a high C8. Uh, once again, just just awesome quality. The, 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 the box is in phenomenal condition, uh, especially being from 1993. And the figure is cherry mint. Let's turn this guy around. Let's go up top, see if we can see anything here. Just, just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Do we have anything on the side here? These boxes don't stand that well by themselves. Get you. 12 inch tall, fully posable fighter. This is a specially numbered collector's edition. You just can't, you can't lose on this guy. Super cool. And we'll just kind of tilt him because it's here's our back of box. Let's get you a blown out shot of the back of the box there. Okay. Collect them collect them all. We sure did. Uh M Bison. We haven't done a uh review on M Bison yet, but we'll be getting to that guy. Uh we did one on, on Guile. We did one, we're doing one on Ryu now. Uh, Blanca is another one of my favorite ones because of just the uh, the articulation to the face, everything, the likeness. They did. They did. Hasbro did a beautiful job. Their design team just did a phenomenal job on the um, production of these figures. And there were uh, three and three quarter inch uh, figures sold as well, play sets as well. Um, I, I, I'm not too into the smaller figures. Um, when they were being released, not so much of that. Really cool though, but it was the 12 inch figures that got me. But as you can see, this is a, a just a beautiful box. It, it, and guys, this is what we talk about. These beautiful boxes are like pieces of art uh, they're like 3d comic books if you will bringing you into another time taking you all the way back to 1993 the early 90s 
Here's Ryu's uh, file card. He has the, the world famous Dragon Punch. Let's get you a date here, a year. There we go, 1993. 1993 Capcom. Here's some more. So you get some special tips here where they tie the video game into your 12 inch figure and you buy the 12 inch figure and you can then and only then can you get these awesome cheat codes if you will or, or, or different type of codes that will allow you to be successful in the video game so it was just a win-win it was a fun fun figure without question uh, beautifully done and like I said Ryu was one of my uh, favorite uh, characters to use uh, yes I did play the video game as a young man <laughs> As you can see, this is from the sticker here is from Play World. When Play World was still around. How crazy is that? And he was being sold for $19, as, as we stated before. And that's right around where, where I bought him for. Uh, shipping and handling actually uh, pushed him up, pushed that price up a little bit. But the, the price was very fair. And the good people at Coswell Collectibles... Uh, you know, are just a phenomenal team over there. You can still find uh, these guys on a secondary market. You can go to Amazon. I, I would always say uh, go to Cotswell Collectibles first. I trust those guys. They just won't sell it if the figure in the box is, uh, you know, not in phenomenal condition. They just won't do it. So you know going right into it, you're going to get awesome, an awesome product uh, from Coswell Collectibles. Guys, what do you think of this uh, Ryu? Please, we'd like to hear your comments. Get the chatter started on one of these awesome Street Fighter 2 characters. Do you own these guys? Do you own the set? Are you still looking for these guys? Well, guys, you don't have to go any further. You know exactly where to come if you want to see these guys right here at the MIB Master Museum Channel. Guys, with that being said, we got a fun week in, in store for you. We got Thanksgiving coming up. Guys, we will be uh, doing some uh, reviews on Thanksgiving uh, for your entertainment. While you enjoy your Thanksgiving feast. We got some awesome uh, surprises for you. It's going to be a, a mega packed, action packed week here at the MIB Master Museum channel. Guys, we want you to tune in. God bless. It's a G.I. Joe logo. And keep collecting.